아직은 미쿠죠. 지금 만난 시간이 엄청나게 오래돼서 이, 이 애랑은. 당연히, 당연히 미쿠죠. 아 얘가 저랑 되게 오랜만에 오랜 시간을 많이 보냈어요. 그래서 얘를 떼어내려면 좀 많은 시간이 걸릴 것 같아요. Born on May 16, 1997, Hyun Hwang, better known in Overwatch as Effect, is one of the best tracers the pro scene has to offer. Although this hasn't stopped other pro players from looking down on him in the past. 사람들 중에 트레이서 딱히 잘하는 사람이 없어서 이펙트님을 영입한, 영입한 것 같아요. 저희는 환영이죠. 뭐 레빌링이 잘된건 모르겠고 이펙트님 트레이서는 그렇게 하는 게 아니에요. If we compare to Effect, Bunny is here. Effect there. Oh, not even can see Effect. However, his masterful play has more than proven that he is one of the greats of the game, who can almost single-handedly carry his team to victory. Prior to the official release of Overwatch, Effect was a music student who had chosen to pursue his passion for the musical arts in university, a decision that made his parents very happy. While a student, he maintained gaming as a hobby, but was still able to maintain his status as a highly competitive player, even reaching the number two rank in a game called Cyphers. Following the launch of Overwatch, Effect found himself drawn to the game, eventually reaching the point of telling his parents about his desire to switch his focus from a music-based career to living life as a professional esports player. At the time, they were saddened by their son's decision, but have since warmed up to the idea now that Effect has proven to them and the world that he can not only make it as a pro gamer, but stand at the top of the world as one of the best of the best. Effect's first entry into the competitive Overwatch scene was as a DPS on an early iteration of Meta Athena, alongside renowned players including the likes of Saya Player and NYXL's Libero. Effect's team managed to secure a coveted spot in the second season of the OGN Overwatch Apex after a dominant run through the offline qualifier. Effect stepped down from the active roster at the start of 2017, but maintained his role as a substitute before officially leaving on March 16th. During this period away from the professional stage, Effect continued to stream and amass a large fan base in the Korean Overwatch community, securing and maintaining his spot in the top of the region's competitive ladder. We've reached out to his former teammates for their thoughts on Effect as a player and as an individual. Effect thinks a lot about the game when playing. When he plays Tracer, he is always researching different positioning and infiltration routes, which he can try out during scrims. When he was in Meta Bellum, he would try to improve his skills with various heroes aside from his Tracer, which he excelled at, making him a role model amongst the teammates. Effect had his own creative style of Tracer and aim, as well as in-game knowledge, making him a Tracer player to beat. Effect always tried harder than other players. When everyone woke up and got ready for the day by the designated schedule, Effect woke up before everyone else and went to sleep before everyone else, always playing ranked and practicing on his own. Many had anticipated that Effect's free agent status would be short-lived, but few had expected that his DPS talents would catch the eye of a Western team. On April 22, 2017, Dennis Halveka, or Internet Hulk, announced that his contract expired with Envious, and he was deciding to leave to pursue other career opportunities. Around this time, the meta began to heavily favor dive compositions, and so to fill a much needed spot in their roster and remedy their lack of a good tracer player, Envious took two prospective players. Louis and Effect under their wing for a trial period starting April 27, 2017. During his time with Envious, Louis ended up playing mostly in the soldier role, one which Taimu and Harry Hook could already aptly fill, while Effect demonstrated greater tracer proficiency and a greater amount of playtime during the team's run at the third season of Apex. On May 27th, Louis parted ways with Envious and Effect was officially added to the roster as a permanent member of the starting lineup. With both his streaming career taking off after being exposed to the West as a member of Envious and repeated victories at Apex, Effect's tracer play had begun to captivate the world. With Taimu as the looming long-range threat, Coco and Mickey as a solid tank lineup and Effect constantly ready to go for the flank, 
many Korean teams were squashed beneath the solid play of the boys in blue. However, during the playoffs, other teams who had star tracers of their own proved that they were able of tying down effect for most team fights, causing Envious to have to rely on just Taimu's hitscan DPS which often caused team fights to drag on. Envious would finish their Apex Season 3 run in a respectable 4th place after falling to Africa Freaks Blue 4-1. Upon their return to North America after a long stay abroad, Envious and Rogue were invited to compete in Season 1 of Overwatch Contenders. With Immortals having taken the first in Season 0, this was the tournament that many believed would unofficially determine the best team in the West. Towards the final stages of contenders, Envious managed to get the ever-popular and charismatic Brandon Seagull Larned as their third DPS player. The addition of Seagull allowed Envious to form the three-headed snake formation, also known as the three-pronged attack, that dominated North American teams in contenders. The change in composition also allowed Effect to swap from a conservative flanking tracer to an aggro raw damage one, constantly chewing on tanks and supports alike. Sharing his disruption slash attention grabbing job with Seagull's Farah, Effect's job as a tracer got easier while his play kept improving. With the launch of the Overwatch League, Team Envious rebranded as Dallas Fuel, bringing with them their versatile and capable lineup and naturally, Effect. After a dominant run in the preseason, many fans anticipated a strong showing in the first few weeks of the league, but by the end of week two, Dallas Fuel find themselves towards the bottom of the ranking. Effect stated that the team is working on improving internal communication issues and strategic hurdles, but has told his fans that he will be doubling down on improving and is confident in his team's ability to make a rebound. So far, Effect has been the tracer to beat in the Overwatch League, and despite his team not having the most favorable results, they have been happy to play compositions that let Effect's Tracer carry them to victory. In such cases as their 3-2 victory over Houston, or their 3-1 win over Florida in the preseason games. So now that we've learned a bit about his background, let's dive into what makes Effect such an outstanding Tracer. Who has cats? I need cats. Why do you like cats so much? Cute. Effect is a grinder. I've never seen someone with such a, a dedicated schedule like Effect. There's no outside of the game of Effect. Effect is always in the game. That's the thing. It's always streaming, always playing, always grinding. Like Effect can play Osu for two hours and then he pra practices Aim Hero for an hour and then he plays Quick Play for an hour before we, he actually even jumps into a game. Mechanically on Tracer is very, very good. He's actually very underrated at the other heroes he plays, but that's only because he's so good at Tracer. He plays everything at such like a world-class level. He really try hard every time. He played the game. He just wants to win really, really badly. He's uh, like a god's gift to game. Effect has mastered every aspect of the character, playing the stable zoning tracer when duoing or paired with Taimu, the aggressive DPS tracer when playing in the three-headed snake formation, or the one-clip assassination tracer after failed team fights. One of the scariest things about Effect is that tracer alone isn't enough for him. He's always practicing other heroes, getting them up to a pro level. Should Tracer ever go out of the meta, or his team want to run a different composition, Effect can flex onto other DPS or even tank heroes. The sheer mobility that Effect utilizes from Tracer's skill set complements his mechanical aim, allowing him to pull off plays that look insane. <laughs> Even when his team isn't attacking, Effect can be found on the flanks or behind enemy lines. Always a threat that must be respected. But mechanics can only carry you so far. What sets Effect apart from other Tracer players that you might encounter in competitive is his ability to execute coordinated dives with his team that he has honed after hours upon hours of scrims and by living with his teammates. Every time the friendly tanks make contact, Effect moves in on critical members of the enemy team, pressuring and preventing them from doing damage or providing much needed healing. This combined with the distraction of Taimu and Seagull means that Effect can much more freely feast on the enemy backline. Aside from putting in more hours in the game and thoughtfulness when reviewing his play, many consider Effect's incredible skill set is also largely due to his rigorous practice regimen. 
For his training, Effect likes Aim Hero for its customizable, repeatable aim drills, also mentioning how you can set the EDPI to the same as your Overwatch EDPI. Additionally, Effect plays lots of Osu, saying that it helps with mouse movements as well as the music being relaxing. At one point, Effect thought that his Tracer play was perfect, and that he had begun to improve on Widowmaker. But after a rough start to the Overwatch League, he had humbly admitted in a series of heartfelt tweets that he still has a long way to go. Hopefully, with the Overwatch League ongoing, we will see Dallas Fuel's potential realized and Effect leading the charge. Thanks for watching the video! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other content and subscribe for more. As well, you can always click that bell for notifications as to when new content is uploaded. Otherwise, you can check out our other social media pages, and if you wish to join in the conversation, check out our Discord, all of which can be found in the links below. See you next time, and thanks for watching.